Hello everyone, I'm Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because today's video is going to be so much fun. We're going out on a little field trip to Home Goods, which I have not been in a long time. Can you guys believe I've only been to Home Goods once in my lifetime? As much as I love decorating, I just never had one or the option when I lived in Kansas and now in San Diego. It's kind of far where I live, but it really is definitely worth the trip. So today, not only we're going on a little shopping trip to Home Goods, and we're also gonna start moving and shuffling the furniture around the house. So I'm gonna show you that um, because I really believe that just with that bucket of paint, some accent walls, and then moving your furniture around the house, it really can give a new perspective to your home and a new feel, which is what we're all looking for, especially this time of the year. All right, you guys, well, if you wanna come shop with me at Home Goods, please stay tuned. If you're new to the channel here, we talk about interior design and decorating through fun DIY projects so you can unleash your inner designer and create a space that tells your story. So please consider subscribing. Let's go shopping. All right, you guys, so today we are heading out to Home Goods, and I haven't been there in some time. So I'm pretty excited because it is springtime and I'm sure they have their inventory out and they usually have really good quality stuff. It is a little bit higher priced than TJ Maxx will ever be, but I absolutely love their products. So I'm pretty excited because as the rooms get remodeled, uh, there's more things that I need and I need to know what's out on the market so I can make decisions for these rooms. So come with me as we go shopping at HomeGoods. Table runners galore and absolutely beautiful patterns like this one for spring. Wow. It's so cute. They have a really good selection of table linens like this raffle and now here's a tip I'm gonna give you. Check out the size is 60 by 107 and I absolutely love the pattern on it. This could also be used as a drape you guys. Cheaper than buying drapery.
Oh my god, you guys, that store is absolutely fabulous. The selection for spring is just absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of florals. There's a lot of blue and white. I was so shocked and pleasantly shocked to see so much blue and white in lamps and pottery and pillows and accessories for the home and tablecloths. It's everywhere. And I think this year you better get yourself some blue and white. You don't want to be left behind on that trend. And I actually think the blue and white really helps to upscale the look of a home. And you do not have to have a lot of it. I have a small collection, but I use it uh, all throughout the house. Sometimes I take it out on the patio. Sometimes I put it on the dining room. And right now it's on top of my bookcases in my living room. So go out and start collecting some blue and white to upscale the look of your home. I'm going to go home and I'm going to play with the things that I bought. And I will show you exactly what I got. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can see, they have so many beautiful items at Home Goods, and it did not disappoint as I knew they wouldn't. And I love to go into Home Goods, especially for spring, because they have so many beautiful, bright colors that just really inspire me to really get decorating. Um, they have a lot of blue and white, which is something that I am so passionate about, and I really think that any home should have a little bit of blue and white in their collection because it really helps to upscale the look of any home, whether it's on your tablescapes or just on top of your cabinets or like uh, on the top ta or tabletops. It just really helps to bring that elegance to your home. All right, well, we've, we've done some shopping, so now it is time to move some furniture around and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. After moving all that furniture, I am exhausted and I think it is time to take a little break. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment down below and let me know if moving furniture around and painting accent walls is something that you do during the spring months of the year to give your house a fresh look. Or leave me a comment down below also. Let me know what is your favorite thing you like to do during spring to freshen up your house. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for future decorating ideas and more videos like this. And if you already subscribed, well, you know what to do. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye.